This is the good general. The state of Texas stinks. You're watching On The Mat, television's most exciting hour. Here are your hosts, the venerable Richard T. Sin, the legendary Trevor Blanchard, and, need I say more, Billy Wack. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> El Duque. Well, good. Welcome to On The Mat, episode 302. Ooh. We want to thank. First off, we want to thank everybody that came out to North Beach uh, three weeks ago for the 300 taping. It was a blast. I'm down with that. You know, good beer, good good smoke, right? No, you know who wasn't there? Yeah. Who wasn't there? Oh, we were everybody talking about this. Was there. Not, no. It was a who's who of Chicago wrestling. What's he talking no. about? What is Trevor talking about? We know. You know who wasn't there? P.L. Myers. <laughs> Where were you? You weren't there. We figured it would have been the greatest opportunity for you to come and chill your book, Gate to Gate, coming out sometime <laughs> soon. Remember, P.L. Myers and his book, Gate to Gate, at bookstores somewhere, possibly in the future. If, if it's anything like the show, it won't you. be out for about another four years. Yeah, here you so. get a copy of Guns N' Roses, Chinese Democracy, with the P.L. Myers book. So, <laughs> wow, that's right a good deal. <laughs> Chill your book, P.L. Myers. Man, that Billy Wack, you don't... Hey, let's fix that. And P.L., he's, he's going to be all upset, but think about it, Paul. What did I do? You. I said your name, and I said the name of your book. Yeah, that's Gate nice. Gate to Gate. And you're selling that book. And he's selling I it. gotta feel. No, I think you're selling the book. Maybe you got a book coming out too, Billy Wack. No, oh God, no. <laughs> no. Well, it would be all in comic book form. So there get you ready. Go. That'd be a good yeah. one. Summer yeah. of Hammer Two, please. Ten. We've got interaction with the guests. Now we got a guest here tonight, Stan Payne, from what I understand. Yeah. Stan Payne. This guy runs a couple different promotions. He's been all over the place. He used to be with I W, uh, I U W A. Yeah. He's got R G W running right up and now. And this guy, uh, he's a formidable uh, ring announcer and troublemaker and promoter. And I'm kind of he's, he's been around for a while, and, and, and he knows the bit, he knows the local business, the Chicago independent wrestling scene. He knows it very well, and now he has thrown his hat into the ring, uh, figuratively and literally. And he's bringing us RGW, which stands for really good wrestling. Wow. Hey, all that's right. A really, that's a that's really a, good hey, wrestling. You know, was also, also auspicious by their absence, R300. No representative from elite. Nobody elite. from elite. Get the former memo. LWF guys, too, basically. Sure, yeah. I mean, kinda, that's like LWF. Well, kind of breaks my heart. Acid, Jay <laughs> Jensen. <laughs> but let's talk about who was represented on the mat that night. i got to say, all the guys from uh, uh, POW came out. Yep. POW! Represented. Camera two, please, for all of us. Uh, i got to tell you something. That was really, I mean, it was a fan fest. It was just great to see all the guys out. The Hogan guy, Steve Boz was there. Big Buddha was there. Steve I mean, Kane. Steve Kane Steve was Kane. there with his clothes on. Thank yes, God. Yes, thank God. Yeah, it was geez. a really good night. To and, and a ball. Apologies, I, I suppose. Apologies from me. I was, I hey, had a few beers. I was like out of control. I remember. I vaguely remember like yelling like, "Kneel before me, yeah. Sam Desero or something like that. Oh, <laughs> and, 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 and the family Sam had a couple drinks. The family, 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 yeah, the family tree. Yeah, family great tree. idea, Billy Wack. Which we never actually finished the family tree. But now, with the help of you on ChicagoProWrestling.com, <laughs> send us your comments and your queries and your whatever you got. Queries. Why not? Queries? Cool queries. Hey, look who's about the kitchen there, the Billy Wack. <laughs> Where'd you get the book, Billy Wack? I got the book. And look, it starts with WCPW, WF, PWI, IUWA. Everybody was represented that night. It was I got this. You got a China book. I got this book. I got it yesterday at a thrift shop. Monday's half off at the thrift shop. This is jacket I paid four dollars for it too, by the way. Whatever. That's tough, Billy Wack. Thanks, thanks. Jacket. It is getting chilly out. It's cold in here. I paid a dollar nineteen for this. For China book? Yeah, I was like, it cost come, five grand no just brain. to get her to come autograph the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it, hey, and the best of all, best of all, this is what I like about commerce in America. Somebody left their bookmark, a free bookmark. Yay! So you have a free bookmark. Yeah, so bought it, I you? am. All right, yeah. Legends of Wrestling. Go yeah, uh, Legends of Wrestling. Uh, upcoming next our uh, video. Uh, Nicholas H was up in Milwaukee uh, a couple weeks ago for the fan uh, the, the kickoff to the Blizzard Bra, which I believe is December 8th or 7th. Uh, it's a Friday night up there in Milwaukee. Um, Dan Majewski, he was a photographer in the 70s, uh, early 70s, mid-70s, for the up in the Milwaukee he area. He does an off, interview. Uh, right, he does an interview with Nick. Um, and then also there's some advice from Dr. X, Dick Byer. Advice if you really? get into pro wrestling. Yeah, Dick Byer yeah. is going to tell you what to do to get into pro wrestling. This could be serious. This could be crazy. It could be off the chain. I think it's going to be good. But what's the, what I think the big one on this tonight is Baron Von Rashke goes off. That's all the people need to know. <laughs> Baron Von Rashke. Remember that thing he did on, uh, what's her name? 
What? What are you talking Here about? Here we go! That's all the bad! What are you talking about? Yeah. To know. Let's go to that video. Let's go to this book. Championship Wrestling Fan Fest, and I'm telling you, we have a lot of people here tonight, as you can see through the video clips, packed house to see legends like Nick Bockwinkel, Vern Gagne, Mad Dog Vashon, uh, Baron Von Raschke, it, the list is going on and on, and you know Dave Harrow puts on a show every year, Blizzard Brawl, matter of fact, it's going to be off the charts this year, but I'm going to bring something a little different here. Uh, speaking about the names I was talking about, Nick Bockwinkle, Mad Dog Vashon, we've got a gentleman here that has, uh, what can I say, has been around the scene for numerous of years, a uh, great, great photographer, I'm sure his, uh, his photos have been pictured all over the world and shown all over the world of these legends, great. Uh, the one and only Dave Majeski. Thank you very much for coming on to the show. Um, first thing off is... How, how did you get into videography and, uh, or photography of wrestling? Well, I started off uh, just uh, actually attending the, uh, matches as a fan mm -hmm. and hung around in the uh, after it was over and got to meet uh, George Godaski, uh, Iron Man George Godaski, and helped uh, start to take down the ring after. Okay. So then he said, oh, well, meet me next time and you can help me set up the ring. And I got a few bucks for it. Right, and then actually still fans, it's... As today, you know, you still people breaking down the rings, setting up the rings, right, and right. so forth. But uh, 
Now, a lot of the uh, things that you were starting to get into now, was that in the Chicago area, the Milwaukee area, or all over? It was uh, all over. It was, I lived in Milwaukee, so I started in the Milwaukee matches, uh, and uh, since I was at ringside, uh, to make sure the ring didn't fall apart, repairs or whatever, I started just naturally started taking pictures while I was sitting right there. Okay. So that Grinji evolved with the Kodak Instamatic into better cameras through the years, mm -hmm. and then I got involved once my pictures started to be in all the programs, uh, taking the programs up to Rockford, down to Rockford, right. Oshkosh, Green Bay, Sheboygan, and down into the Chicago area a few times, right. uh, but mostly to Wisconsin, east side. I see. Um, now, can you, uh, I mean, do you feel like with the Midwest the way it is, like, you know, with your Crusher, you know, and Bobby Heenan and, and things like that, it was just a hotbed in, you know, this is like the early 70s and I'm talking about here, right. where it was just a hotbed of professional wrestling. And this is before the NWO or the WCW and, you know, things like that. Uh, with doing the photography, uh, now has any of the gentlemen like, you know, Bachwinkle and all them, uh, have they seen your work? Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, well, I, I used to, besides, after I take the pictures at the ring, I ended up a lot of the time driving these guys back to the airport, going out to dinner with them. Nice. And uh, I introduced myself again tonight. I haven't seen these guys in 35, 37 years, and naturally they all yeah. remember who I was from back then. Isn't that a great feeling, though? I mean, yeah. especially, you know, back in the day, uh, you know, and there, obviously there are people that you idolized also, you know, in the wrestling world. Uh, I, I've seen uh, pictures with you and Andre the Giant, uh, Blackjack Lanza, and things like that. And actually, there is a picture of you, which uh, fans, you notice as I was kind of scanning through uh, pictures there, with you and Andre the Giant, and you're a pretty big man yourself. Right, you know? right. Uh, meeting Andre the Giant and having him kind of pictures are taken, what, you know, back in that day, what kind of person was he? I mean, was he like a down-to-earth guy like a lot of other people have said he has been? Yeah, Andre was, uh, he didn't speak a lot of English because he was French-Canadian. Mm -hmm. So, but he, uh, it, as he was here more and more, he uh, got to be more acclimated, obviously, to it. And he actually was a very nice person. I mean, I was out to eat with him, mm. and my, I remember, the, the thing I remember about him was his hands. They were so huge. His, his, li his little finger was one and a half times the width of my thumb. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> his, his hands were oversized for his body, but he was a nice guy. I mean, I took him to the airport once. I had a Corvair. Uh -huh. He got inside this Corvair, and that thing just sunk down to it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost sunk down to the tires. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's he just, was a uh, big man. Uh, any other uh, you know, wrestlers that you actually, in, you know, you had, you know, you, you enjoyed? Uh, photography, you know, or you know, oh, taking yeah. their shots and all that. I mean, who, off the top of your head, I mean, who who did you have fun actually well, shooting? I, I got um, well, Mad Dog a lot was around. And Mad Dog actually, after I got to know him after a few years and a thing, actually brought me back my first 35 millimeter camera back from Japan. Okay. Because he could get it at a lot cheaper price over there. That's oh. where they were made, and he brought it back for me. He said, "Yeah, I'll back you." So he bought it, oh. uh, brought me a camera. Uh, Lens from Nick Bachwinkle back in the late 60s. Oh, I wow. needed one anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, these guys were just, yeah, just ordinary guys uh, outside the ring. Yeah, they uh, are. Nice as could be. Yeah, they are. And, you know, and obviously, like, you know, like myself, these are the gentlemen that laid, you know, the groundwork for today's wrestlers yep. and so forth. Uh, especially when you come back to the legend, you know, to these legends, fan fests, and all that. It, everybody gets that spark of, Back in the day, like myself, you know, you know, 10, 15 years old, you know, younger than that, you know, just idolizing these guys and having the opportunity to, you know, you know Bachwinkle and you know, Gagne and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, just out of curiosity, uh, any particular venue that you actually, did you like to shoot in, like you said, out here in Milwaukee? I mean, it was just a great venue in, in, in general, like the crowd and just you know the atmosphere and the electricity running through the uh, running through the building. Well, my Milwaukee by far was the was the right. biggest crowd. When it would use when it would move from the uh, auditorium to the meeting, the crowds were so huge going to the arena. Mm. Uh, that's when the excitement really started to grow. Well, now uh, I, I take it you're still doing photography and all that. Yeah, my degrees. I have ended up getting a degree in photography after I left doing the wrestling. Are you still doing wrestling or? No, 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 I haven't been out of that. I haven't really followed much since the 70s, since I got out. I see. If there's anything, I mean, do you watch the wrestling nowadays? No. no. Okay, well, I guess my next question would be a lot of that. Because I was going to say, I mean, what did you think of 
you know, today's WWE and TNA. I don't watch it, I quit, yeah. <laughs> you so quit I, a lot of TNA. <laughs> yeah. I hear yeah, you. Yeah. But fans, uh, like I said, uh, Dave Majeski here, uh, as you can see that uh, from the photos that I have uh, showed out in little video clips, this gentleman has been around, he's uh, been with all the legends, and like I said, this is a gentleman here that captures, you know, the history of, like I say, the wrestling in, in the heyday. When old school ruled, and you had you know great legends like you see here today, Bachwinkle, Mad Dog Vashon, and so forth. Thank you again for coming on to the show. Your pictures are awesome. Is there a website or a phone number for anything that uh, you want to go ahead and put out there for if anyone's interested in you know coming in across some of the uh, photography shots that you've taken? Well, we're going to be setting up a website within the next few months and start to make my archives available to the public again. Oh, that'd be great. Well, fans, I will definitely keep you posted on what's going on. So I tell you what, let's go right back to the Fan Fest a little bit more and see what we come up with. Look here, here's a legend right here. Here's a legend who brings legends together. My hey. good friend Dave Hero. He's got a big one coming up. Blizzard Brawl 3. It's better be there. Seven. You it's better be there. I'll be here. The one and only Dr. X in the house here in Milwaukee. One word of advice for anybody that wants to get into the wrestling business today. Well, the one word that I got is be in condition, work out, and learn to wrestle. Headlocks, hammer locks, arm drags. Learn how to wrestle. Because sometime in that ring, you're going to have to be able to know how to take care of yourself. And I never went in a ring when I wasn't in condition and that I knew everything about my opponent. Wow. There you go, words of experience from Dr. X himself. Nicholas H. would on the mat. Just one piece of advice for anybody that would love to get into the pro wrestling today. You want advice? From Ben Vareska! Are you crazy? If you want to be a wrestler, there's only one thing you must do. Uh-oh. Wrestle! You start as an amateur and you go to the ranks! You train and you train hard! You sweat! You strain! You fight your way, day by day, one step at a time. And then you wipe the food out of your mouth. And then, then, when you've paid the price, you turn to professional wrestling. And that is all the people need. Do no. Right. Yeah. Yeah. on the mat studio, and I want to thank the professional for Nick H for these pants. <laughs> uh, Nick, pants come on, have, get some pants without a hole in them. Strangely, like <laughs> Nicholas H's pants, Billy Wax. These are Nick for the pants. Oh, very nice. <laughs> you want them back? Hey, I, I, uh, we have our guest oh. here. Stan Payne. Stan Payne stepping up to the plate. The show. It's a pleasure. Hey, oh, I sure my hands pleasure. are cold and clammy. Hey, they sure are. Stan, give me a hearty hand clap there, Stan. It's been a while. Yeah. I remember you from Sports Entertainment Live. Well, thanks. Oh. Right. That was a good old day. Yeah, that was a good And I remember you from the LWF. Well, thank you. Right? Is that good? That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know sometimes. People I want to kill me. Ah, oh, come on, man. I, I ain't going to take you to my basement yet with my axe. I mean, you know. Hey, wait, yeah, wait a minute. The axe. Oh, yeah, the aforementioned axe murderer. I, I don't know about that. From what I understand, you're a promoter, and Real Good Wrestling is your new promotion. It sure is, Richard T. Sin. And ladies and gentlemen, I do have to say I'm perturbed. What happened? I am perturbed. You see, Dr. X is giving advice about being in shape or something like that. Well, I'm trying. Condition, okay. Yes. And I'm trying, but you know what? You got there. These pants. Okay. I can't fit into these pants anymore. Oh, geez. Okay. And it's all Shy Town T's fault. Whoa, what do you okay. Do? He ran my ECPW out of business, and now I'm gonna run you out of business, you and your IUWA. And if I have to use real good wrestling to do it, 
or if I have to somehow talk to you, because you're a businessman, you're the CEO of AAW, you yeah, know was, what you're doing, and you, you, hey, I seen you. You took care of that Mike Anthony at that, uh, what was that, the original Battle of the Belt? Yeah. Well, and I'll, recently, I you've a wrestling, the the wrestling he, he memory. Knows. <laughs> he knows. Yes. I know. Uh, and you, what yes, did sir. you do this past week? Well, Wreaking havoc in Windy City Pro well, Wrestling. Well, you come I, out here. If you're going to bring it up, I, uh, <laughs> I, man, you know, I did manage to bring this. I uh, actually led my guys' uh, vanity and greed to the Windy City Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Richard nice. T is back in nice. full form. Look at that. I got the big 10-inch uh, poster to prove it. How about that? Wow. What fun it was. Had a ball. Look at and, that face. Uh, and, hey, we're, we're doing new webcasts on Windy City, so go to www.windycityprowrestling.com for all the new happening, up-and-coming information on WCPW. Some fresh blood down there, and it's really, really Good stuff. It's a great promotion. Everybody's big, in shape, puts on a great show top to bottom, and boy, am I having a ball being back. Well, speak, isn't speaking it of, nice going back? Yeah, it is. You I know, because I, I was out for three years. I got back with CCW or speaking PAL. Speaking of great promotions, let's talk about good promotions. Let's talk about really good promotions, really good wrestling. Thank you very much. Why? Why is it called really good wrestling? I mean, you're putting yourself out there to call it really good wrestling. Can you back it up? I, of course, can back it up. You people who check out pain187.com, yeah. you're going to see a lot of stuff there. Uh, the Hardcore Hotline, 847-604-DEAD. All right? You people know that I can back it up. You know that what I say, I do. So and I got a question what? for you, Stan. You still, your honor, you get your own wrestling hotline? I do. I used hotlines. to do the Windy City one, and I loved it. So hotlines, I mean, they, I thought they were a thing of the past. That's cool. Well, give me the number again, because I want to call it. It's just a like 847-604-DEAD. All the, most of the, the hotlines or hype lines back in the day, it was 847-604-DEAD. What was the LWS? It was 0929. Somebody called it all the time. PCW or Peter Wyatt. I'm going to call. Seriously, Stan, what's the? 604 604 Three three two three 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 two three. That's six zero oh, four dead. dead. That's great. And what's the prefix or the the area? Eight four seven. Eight four seven. It's area like code. the eight four seven area code for that POW organization that Jimmy Blaze has featuring this man right here yep. and Shy Town T and everybody out there. Listen. Uh oh. These pants. This is an embarrassment to me. I've been gaining weight because of you putting me through stress. Don't sue McDonald's, everybody. Sue Shy Town T. I want you to sue Shy Town T, right. and I want you people to check out lawyer. Real Good Wrestling. We've had two shows thus far, okay, and uh, we're gonna be running back in January. And you can check out that website. Real Good Wrestling is at RGW. That's two W's though. Okay. RGW Wrestling. Dot com. Billy Wack, who, who are you calling? I'm calling Saul Weinstein, my esteemed lawyer, and he's going to hook me up with oh. everything I need to do. To I, 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 well, hey, who with, are some of the stars? We're going to the match, but who are some of the stars? Like tonight, you're going to see Petey Williams when he's what? tagged up. Petey Williams? Yeah, yeah he's your favorite guy. Petey Williams. Steve Boz. Oh, something happened my, at that show. Milo okay. Ca against Milo Cash and T.O. Money. T.O. Money, he wants let's, his tape let's back. Let's go to this match right now. I want my tape back. <laughs> I need my footage. It's my footage. I have the right to this <laughs>